Howdy folks and good morning! Can you see what's in front of me? Yes, that's Bowen Sorrento. But can you see what's at the end of my bonnet? And I do say my, because yes, you'll see a three-pointed star. So, so this was the big surprise. This was the big surprise of what's happening midweek this week, which I alluded to in my description of my last video. And uh, yeah, folks, can you tell by this beautiful beige leather interior and the fact that I have, uh, oh, you can't see that, but um, I'm actually pressing a clutch right now and shifting into first and second and third. Yes, it's a manual with a three-pointed star at the end of the bonnet. What could it possibly be? Does Mercedes-Benz even make manuals with a two-liter engine anymore? Mm, no, I doubt it. I doubt it. But uh, hello, folks, and uh, welcome to this very, very quick video of uh, what it is. I'm actually driving. Oh, here's another, here's another telltale giveaway. Uh, let me show you. Handbrake. <laughs> Yes, I think the more eagle-eyed among you will already know what this is. Yep. So, so happy that I am actually now the proud owner of a Mercedes-Benz W123, an 80s Mercedes-Benz W123 from 1985. 200 four-speed manual. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Yeah, let me show you. Don't believe me? Check this out. It was already in the right orientation. Ah, there we go. Manual, folks. Four speed manual. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, okay, um, I'm gonna pick this up uh, in a little while because I'm heading somewhere where I can actually stop and show you the car. So, while I'm getting to my desk, just tell you what actually happened. Remember that video I posted of SAS Classics in Klang? Yeah, I guess I got rachuned. I got rachuned by all those beautiful W123s and uh, decided to start scoping around. Well, actually, truth be told, I was already scoping around for a very long time. You see, I've never owned a W123 manual. Um, Make a U-turn on 3213 for Sierra and Uh Wagon, a long, long, long time ago. Actually, the same spec as this uh, manual, two liter engine, four cylinder, and uh, sold that off regrettably. It's the only car I actually regret selling. Uh, my W123 uh, wagon, uh, also known as the S123 S for station wagon, but uh, decided, you know what? Let's uh, let's look around for another one because uh, they are very very good cars. I mean, come on, this car is from 1985, and it's a buy and drive. How many cars can you say that about? From, uh, from this era, very, very few, very, very few. In fact, uh, in 200 meters, how many turn people? left on Jalan Pentadbur U1 slash 30. From 1985, think of it this way, any brand new car today, is it gonna be, is it gonna be, you know, drivable in 2063? <laughs> or, you know, the equivalent amount of time. Turn left on Jalan Pentadbur U1 slash 30. I don't think so. I don't think so. So testament to cars that were built to last. And uh, yeah, the W123 definitely is one of those for sure. Um, okay, You've arrived at your here. destination. So I'm going to pause and then show you this car. <laughs> Welcome back. And there she is, folks. My W123 sedan with the original Bunt alloys, or also known as the Mexican alloys. All four caps are still on it. Yes. It needs a paint job, but it's original paint. It's original black paint. And those speckles that you see, yeah, it's they're not stone chips. The previous owner <laughs> got paint splash on him when his neighbor was painting the porch, or so he says. But there's the car, folks. A original W123 sedan, 200 four-speed manual. Buy and drive. I just picked it up from JPJ Padang, Jawa. Got the name change done. Yes! Body stripes are all there. Look at the interior. Look at the interior. How cool is that? Yeah, don't worry about the player. It's going to get a brand new player, a new, brand new sound system. Wind up windows all around, which is great. As I've always said, with old cars... Oh, listen to that solid thud. As I've always said, with older cars, you want lesser electronics. Much, much lesser electronics. So, a beautiful patina 
The third brake light still works even though it's already been uh, dispatched. But uh, here we go. And where are we? We are at the Porsche Lava. Yes, we are. I haven't been here for... Actually, I've never been here. So yes, I Teman Baldwin come since he gave me a lift to pick up the car. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of... Yeah, bless you. I'm kind of speechless. Yes, the seller gave me the number as well. WBJ116, triple digit number. Check it out, folks. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Body stripes are all there. The body is straight. The panel gapping is good. The car is as intact as possible. That's just surface rust, which I can get rid of on the uh, chrome de grille. But there she is. Yep. And there I am. Howdy, folks. Here's my face. So, there we go. W123 and manual. This is going to be the reason I bought this car. Okay, I've always liked the 123, as you know. But also, have you ever bought a car just to attend one drive? Yes! My classic cars is going to drive to Krabi at the end of next month. And I'm going to use this car, which gives me about a month to get it restored. Can we restore this car in a month? Stay tuned. We'll find out together. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Lots more to come. Take care, you all. Just a very quick six-minute update. And uh, very, very soon, I'll let you all know how it's going to go. Take care. Part one, part two coming up very, very soon. Bye, folks.